It's hoped a $9 million funding boost will help stroke survivors in regional Victoria get back into the workforce. Two new support centres will mean patients won't have to travel as far to get the help they need on their long road to recovery. For Sienna Apposo, cooking is a link to her earlier life. The 29-year-old had a stroke when she was a teenager. It was surreal. It was sort of like... No, that couldn't have happened. I'm 16, I'm not 90. She mostly recovered and went on to train as a pastry chef. But when she was 23, she had two more strokes. The doctors didn't know whether or not I'd ever walk again or ever regain that, that coordination and that movement. She got help from the Stroke Association of Victoria in Geelong and soon formed a support group for young stroke survivors. After three years of volunteering, she got a job coordinating the centre's rehab and social activities. Not only does it give stroke survivors somewhere to go, it rebuilds their confidence, um, builds their community. Now the state government is giving the association almost $9 million to support their three existing centres and establish two more, all in regional Victoria. Supporting people to get back into the workforce, um, we know that stroke survivors, you know, it can take a very long time, that recovery. The association says a review found their support services also provide a long-term economic benefit. 71% of our participants return to work, whereas the, the standard evidence-based benchmark is about 50%. This gave me a whole new lease on life. This place gave me a purpose. The government says the new centres will help 200 stroke survivors every month. Stephen Schubert, ABC News, Geelong.